first of all, thanks for coming in. Um, just to give you an outline, it's, um, we're looking for um, basically technologies or ways of reducing emissions. Um, that's the idea of this meeting. Um, you made a reference there um, that, met the, that there's no system or correct system of measuring. Can you explain back that up, please? Uh, I said there's no cost-effective method of measuring. So yes, yes, there is ways of, uh, of measuring, and the likes of um, uh, Chagas and Muir Park and Lions Farm uh, in Kildare have invested in systems such as, a, a, for example, there's a green feed system, um, uh, which uh, uh, involves cattle going into a, a controlled environment, and, and they're monitored for maybe four or five minutes. And, uh, but but this, this, is, this is okay from um, a research point of view, from a sampling point of view, but it's not a practical way of, of measuring um, methane emissions in a commercial uh, beef or dairy farm. What is a practical, practical way? Well, that's, that's the point I'm, I'm, I'm making, is that there isn't enough focus on that. Uh, without measuring something, you can't improve it. So I know you've mentioned that this committee is um, concentrating on uh, ways of reducing um, uh, emissions. But I, I would ask, like, from my experience in manufacturing, which I've worked in some of the largest multinationals in the world, you have to get the metrics in place before you can put in place uh, improvement projects. And I feel, I feel that's a gap in, in how things are being approached in relation to um, uh, methane emissions. Like, I feel passionately that, yes, we can reduce, and there is a global net benefit impact to the environment here if we approach this the right way. But I feel, uh, without having the right metrics in place, you, you'll struggle to find the right methods to improve. Right. Um, you made reference then of, um, you used the analogy of the one litre car and the 12 year old car. Um, tell me so, what's the ideal animal for conversion if, if, if the stats are there? What is the, what animals are able to do conversion rates? I presume you're talking about getting them from a calf to killing in the line of a, a beef animal. You're talking about the ones with the that put on the most kgs quicker, that turn basically food into thrive, and um, and in the cow side or in the dairy side of it, you, you made reference, say to the in, in the care analogy. Can you fill me in on what? I know that there was some work being done, but have you the have you the stats or the backup of which type of animals are and what type of a system of feeding is um, doing the best thrive or the best return for the least emissions? Yeah, so th 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 there's there's an extremely long list of factors that can impact on on on. Um, on how much meat? How many of them factors is, is a normal farmer doing at the moment that's doing good? That's what I'm saying too. Well, this is my point. The, if the farmers don't know what animals are good and what animals are bad. So they don't know if they're doing the right thing for methane or the wrong thing for methane, whether it be through genetics, whether it be through feed, whether it be through uh, the age of the animal. Um, yeah, so whether it's how they manage their, their, their farms, whether they milk once a day, three times a day. There's, there's so many factors, but, what, but you ask a farmer uh, how much methane is my animal emitting, they, they don't know. So right. how can they improve on something that they don't know? Yeah, but, uh, what I'm trying to establish here, maybe I even picked up wrong, um, the next group I know that's coming in have scientific data or backup of how they're reducing um, X, Y and Z in emissions. Have is this? Are you saying to me that Someone else needs to do this thing of checking the methane, and some and and that we need to do research. Have like have you done any, or do you do any of this? Yeah, well, I suppose like like I can show you what what we we, we provide um, is a, is a sensor that goes uh, that that is a, that is a, a administered into the animal. I know it might look big, but um, these the animals tend. Where is that put in around the neck of the door? Sorry. Where is that put in? Sorry, uh, just to interrupt Deputy Fitzmaurice Morris and Mr. Savage. So we're we're here to talk in the general about the issue and and not to talk specifically about any 
uh, I know you represent a particular company, but we don't want to, as a committee... No, I was using an for, example. Yeah, I know you're answering the question, asked, yeah. Yeah. Deputy Fitzmaurice. What I'm trying to establish, I'm sorry, Chair, yeah. what I was trying to establish is, is there... Say, you talked about um, producing the right animal that can do the right conversion. I'd love to know what we, what farmers need to do in that. Have you research done in that? And is it there for to be read? And on top of that, in the line of the methane that you talk about, is the research done um, that the machinery that you're talking about for measuring it is more accessible to the farmer? That's all I'm... There yeah, so I, um, I provided um, a link to, to our, our company's website, and within, within, within that link, um, we have a detailed question and answers, and it, it describes how our technology will help enable farmers um, monitor our cattle better, especially in the area of, of room and health. And, and if, if the room in which is the first stomach of cattle, if, uh, and, and people have described the room as a kind of a uh, bioreactor. So when cattle consume grass or, or feed, it, for, it goes into a pre-stomach, which is known as the rumen. And within this, uh, the, 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 the feed stuff is broken down in a kind of bioreaction nature. So if, 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 if that process is happening efficiently, then, 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 then you have a healthy animal. So what, what, we, what we are doing is monitoring the rumen real-time, 24-7, and providing that information back to the, back to the farmer. And if, if an animal has a healthy rumen, they're, they're, they're converting that feed stuff efficiently, which, which, has an, which is, is what you want from a feed conversion from a farmer's point of view, but also it's the right thing for the environment. Because if, if, if an animal is... is, 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 um, is uh, is, 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 is belching, for example, excessively, that means that the energy that should be going into convert, converting into protein is going into converting, converting methane. So there's a win-win here. So you, or it's a triple win, actually, because you have a healthy animal, which is good for welfare. Uh, you have a high feed conversion, which is good for the bottom line for the farmer. And also, you, you have the, you've optimised the level of greenhouse gases being emitted, which is good for the environment. Okay. So it all comes down to monitoring the, 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 the rumen, uh, in Thank my you. opinion, rather than saying at a herd level or even a national herd level, let's put metrics associated to that. I would suggest that we monitor it at animal level. Thank, and, and work Thank up you. From there. Thank you, Mr. Savage. And 